Take your seat, hurry up. Well, he's always late. That's Dominic. <laughs> You're lucky he's here. Now, if Dominic came into the theater, I would collect a dollar from him. I would say, uh, Dominic, uh, why are you late? Me? Yeah. I was in the restroom. You're in the restroom? Yeah. So you had to go to the bathroom? Yes. So you couldn't have done that before. You couldn't offer it up. Right. Anyone else here? Anyone else here had to go to the bathroom? Oh, yeah, look, but he made it here on time. <laughs> and I would say, give me a dollar. And then you would reach in your pocket, and I'd make you do it. You would reach into your wallet, hand me a dollar, and I would say, whoa, look at this. Four more dollars, and my daughter sells a pagan baby. <laughs> and I would talk about the pagan baby program, which was very popular when I was a kid in school. And, uh, and sometimes, instead of that, well, I'll say four more dollars, and I got a pint of haagen ice cream. You know. <laughs> Chunky monkey tonight. No. So, uh, you know, it's, I can play with you for a while, you know, then I'll torture you a bit, then I'll make you sit down, you know. And right off the bat, that establishes that I am an authority figure. Um, and, uh, and now you're a little bit on edge, and, and hopefully now I can, I can uh, you know, goof around with you, and, uh, and we'll have a few more shared experiences. Why are you putting that under your neck? Put that down. Now again. He, he answered, he did it, because I'd already established that I'm authority figure, right? <laughs> now, in, uh, in Late Night Catechism, I would be dressed in a habit, because the character in that play is a one character. <laughs> the one character play, a nun, teaching a catechism class. And uh, the thing about uh, uh, a nun is a nun instantly tells you that there is uh, there's going to be discipline in this class. So right off the bat, if you've had a nun uh, as a teacher, you're you're thinking, oh my God, you know. And we hear people gasp when the nun comes out on stage <gasps> because they're thinking they're back in third grade. Um, but how many here have seen the movie um, uh, Moonstruck with Cher? I love that movie. And one person, that's all. No one else has seen the movie Moonstruck. Okay, well, the, the story of the movie is that Cher is engaged. Uh, her husband is off in Italy visiting his mother who's ill. She has to go visit her, 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 her fiancé. She has to go visit her fiancé's brother to try to get him to come to the wedding. Uh, her brother, the brother is Nicolas Cage, and she ends up having uh, basically a, a relationship with Nicolas Cage, and she falls in love with him. Now, she uh, has yet to, to go to bed with him, so she uh, is going to do it tonight. And tonight is the night they're going to the opera. Oh no, I guess they've already, they've already had sex. But she's gonna go to the opera with him, because this is their first date. And, um, and she really wants to look good for him. So she ends up um, buying a really sexy dress. And as she le gets her hair done, as she leaves, knowing full well what she has in mind, she exits the store, and who does she plow into? Husband. Two nuns. Now, the movie makers used that nun image because the nun stands for what? Purity. Purity. So they wanted us in the audience to immediately know and laugh at the fact that Cher has got something totally different on her mind and yet these nuns have been put in that movie to, uh, to elicit a response. So that's the kind of response that I'm trying to get on stage. Uh, a, a sort of a visceral, oh my goodness response, okay? So now, I'm just gonna show you a prop. It's a simple prop. Um, it's one, it's uh, something that we use in the show all the time, okay? The prop holds a different meaning when I show it to you. It is a ruler. What is, oh, look at the boys right away. <laughs> right away, these boys sat up a little straighter. They, he's protecting his hand. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Mark. Mark, did you ever get hit by a ruler? Plenty. Plenty, right? Many times. Who hit you? Uh, Mom. Your mother. Oh. <laughs> your mother a Catholic girl? Uh, yeah, she was Catholic. She was raised by nuns. His grandmother and his mother were raised by nuns. Hey. Pay attention. Okay. So the grandmother and, and his mom were raised by nuns. That nun taught them something about the ruler, which I just used. 
a very good effect because it shuts you guys up, right? The, the ruler, it's nothing more than 12 inches of wood. You should, they should not elicit anything, but you instantly responded because your mother whacked you. What did you do? I uh, was a little kid since uh, she remembered that Duns used to do it to her. If she wasn't really, she used to hit my hands every time I tried to reach for something. So you tried to reach for something and she didn't want you to reach for it? You know, like what, in the kitchen? Maybe like a cookie jar. A cookie or jar or something. something. Or if there was a knife up there, you were curious about it, and she just whacked you on the, on the knuckles, right? Just to get you to pull your hand back. Yeah. Anyone else here was hit by a ruler? <gasps> a girl? What did you do? You cursed? Yeah. And, and were you in school? I was in kindergarten. You were in kindergarten? <laughs> <laughs> you cursed in kindergarten? I didn't know what the word was. Oh, you just heard that word and, yeah. and uh, you repeated it. And who hit you? Uh, my nun. The, so you did have a nun. And the nun whacked you with a ruler? Now, when she hit you, did she hit you on the palm? Oh, she was on the top. She was mad at you. Because I could go like this all day. I mean, not really. But, yeah. I, this doesn't even hurt. So the girls, how many girls were right by a ruler? Just one? One unlucky girl. <laughs> Sorry. But the nuns would whack the girl on, on the palm because it doesn't really hurt. It's fleshy. Right? You, give me, you never got whacked by a ruler? You're lucky. I was against you. She was a good girl. She never got caught. That's what that means. <laughs> but the boys got hit on the knuckles. Why? Yeah, there's no flesh there, really, you know. There is, but there's, you know, th this is padded, you know. This, not. So when the nuns really wanted to get you, stop that. <laughs> You're cracking your neck. You're creeping me out. Stop that. <laughs> See, it's a classic nun response, right? The nun, because the nun wanted to have order in the class. This is what I do in the theater. I will find people to pick. I'm sorry, what's your name? Mm -hmm. What is it? Mm -hmm. Kevin? I'm sorry, Kevin. I don't really mean. Now, now, if I had my prizes here, I might give Kevin a glow-in-the-dark rosary or something because he's allowed me to pick on him, you know. And, and, and the nuns would do that, too. What did the nuns use uh, that they gave out as prizes? Do you remember? Holy cards. Have you, how many here have ever seen holy cards? Where do, you, where do you see them at a lot? Uh, grade school. Grade school? Where else? Funeral homes, of course. You know, holy cards are the baseball cards in the Catholic faith. You know, no, it's true. You know, and we collected them, right? Usually at, at funerals, 